All right, so here's the situation. Lindsey Graham has made a outright, straight up request of the murder of Vladimir Putin. And yeah, look, I've listened to a few commentators and they're all up in arms that he made the threat and how that could be taken. But here's what they haven't said, and it's weird. I wonder why they haven't said, no one said this, but once he initiated that threat saying, you know, hey, someone should take him out. It's not about, he's a lawmaker for the United States. No, it's not that. Uh -uh. And then they say, what if someone outside of the United States said that our leaders should be taken out why we would just act on it immediately oh, well, maybe maybe not lots of people call for the death of obama from overseas they call for the death of george walker bush they called for the death of donald trump you know they do it it's just that none of their how can i say official representatives have said anything now check this out to be a good dictator you have to be vindictive and petty so what Lindsey Graham has done which is why I'm concerned why no one's even picked this up yet is that once he said that if anyone or anything makes a threat an actual attack or assassination attempt on Vladimir Putin then he can say that that was from the order of the United States. And see, that can start a war. That can get things really riled up. So, and when I say petty, vindictive, vengeful, arrogant, conceited, headstrong, bullhearted, it don't matter. Any leader could take that chance to set up their own assassination. Have the guy fail and thrown in their deepest prison while they put out the propaganda that the United States tried to kill me. And then they can launch all kinds of things like that and then say, as a country, we have to go forward and defend ourselves. Vladimir Putin can do this. Does not take much. The United States have spies in every country. And if you think the Russians don't have a spy or 10 here, you're wrong. So let's just say Putin's administration happens to catch a spy. They don't question the spy, not at all. Throw him in prison and just say, the United States just tried to assassinate me, but it failed. There you go. Putin can do what he wanted at this point. Because Republicans have to be strong. Republicans have to show strength and that quote unquote alpha mentality. So, thanks to Lindsey Graham, we have, as a nation, shouldn't be that weak because we didn't do it, he did it. So let's, let me let, reword it here. Thanks to Lindsey Graham, the United States officials and representatives now got something else to deal with. It's bad enough the Republican Party is fueled, funded, and beloved, and are getting votes primarily from racists and race and people who were always racist but kept it at bay because they knew it wasn't the flavor at the time. Now they're emboldened. You know? So you've got this, and they're on megaphones, and now you've got Putin. I mean, our own Nazis <laughs> and racists want to get our country back so they're against who's in charge right 
They're, they're, they hate Biden. They want him removed. They want him gone. Putin would be like, hey, it's, thank you, Lindsey Graham. I know you're a Republican, but you represent the United States. And since you represent the United States, this falls in Biden's lap. And the Republicans will all blame Biden for not being strong and not doing things that they wanted him to do ages ago. And it'll all fall in his lap, even though it would make absolutely no sense. Because that is the country we live in, one that makes no sense. <laughs>